my virtual joy with some more recipe shopping lists, individual ingredients. Now normally, the shopping list, I can select any item in the shopping list to actually alter the content. The other thing I might do is, if I have ingredients already out, it will focus the shopping list around those ingredients and then ask if I want to do something with adding or removing quantity of those, assuming I'm using them. When I'm finished with shopping lists, I can save them back in the drawer so that I can access that content later. We can also do automatic timers. So for something like ice cream or frying meat, you know, something like that, we really want to know when it needs to go back in the fridge or freezer. So we can have a timer set that will notify you automatically about something that needs to go back in the fridge or freezer. Okay. You keep your hand. Keep your hand. Your hand. I'll just bring up a... Okay. 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 Okay.